So at this point, Jake interrupts Ryan for a very good reason. Um, Jake's getting tired, and his companions are getting tired. And, um, and he realizes that he, he remembers he's got in his pouch, he's got some of these fly agaric uh, red mushrooms that, that they carry with them that grow on their, their cow poop. And um, <coughs> so, and, and you know, Jake and, and, and um, John and Lee are all listening to the story that Ryan's sharing, the, the Jaguar woman is sharing this story. And, um, and, uh, and mentions that, you know, that the, the order of operation, that the, the ram usually eats this, this stuff. And, and so that reminds John, he's got, oh yeah, okay, I'm getting tired, but I've got this power medicine in my pocket here. And so interrupts Ryad says, "Hey, you know, well, I've got plenty here. I've, I've gathered, I, you know, I, in my pouch here, I've got a lot of enough, plenty of red caps for us. And I'm, I'm getting tired and fatigued, and I'm wondering how long is this journey going to be to get to Main Mark Point? Because, you know, I can, we can eat a little bit of this red mushroom right now, and and get, um, you know, a boost uh, of energy for for the next like 20 or 30 minutes." Or we can get a bigger boost of energy if we're going to need a lot of a lot of power and strength when we get there. And we're not, not going to be able to rest when we get there. We're going to need even more strength. So it's asking Ryad, you know, should we eat just a, a little bit of these and keep going and then rest when we get there, or should we eat more of these now because they know, you know, that you know if you eat more of these red mushrooms, then you then it it, it quickly puts you into a, a, a restorative sleep very quickly, like we saw with the baby ram before. And so they they can get a really quick power up and then they have tons of energy for several hours. So, um, Rod says, yeah, that's a great idea. Bust out the caps, give them to the rams, too. They're going to need them. Um, and, you know, uh, the, I'm going to go with one of the hawks, and we're going to go scout the desert a little bit while you do that. And one of the hawks is going to guard you all while you sleep. And so, so the, you know, um, Jake and John and Lee and the, and the two other rams, they sit down and they eat this medicine together to take a nap so they get more energy when they wake up, which will be just in like an hour or so. I mean, you know, no more than two hours this really takes for them to, to get that deep, deep, deep dreamless sleep and then come up, uh, you know, awake and alert and more clear in their senses. And so um, they uh, introduce themselves to the, to the, um, a little bit more and they, the people get to know the rams a little bit more and the little, little rams introduce themselves. They say, you know, uh, my name is Mercurial and uh, Mercurial says, and you know, this is my sister and her name is uh, Vestibula. And so Vestibula and Mercurial are, um, this is their first time to talk with humans ever. And the humans say, you know, welcome to the land. <laughs> you know, we meet one of your rams every day, or every other day, but we've never met two at once. This is our first time to sit down, and we, we always see you, all, we know that you like these red mushrooms, so, you know, we're glad to share these with you. So they sit down, and they have, a, they have their mushrooms, and they fall asleep, and one of the hawks stays there while Ryad has taken off. Ryad and the hawk, they go off and they, um, they, they, there's some hills off in the distance that has sort of have this scrubland. And this scrubland has these little blue flowers, lots of little blue flowers. And this is a place of, of special scent to the jaguar. So jaguar goes out there to meditate and commune with the jaguar people to figure out what what to do next jaguar gets there and jag and and then jaguar starts getting to what's going on from the jaguar people and so Ryad ends up going and uh finding these big large cacti that are that are the the little blue flowers grow around the, the big cacti and um Ryad sits there next to them and offers prayers there and uh, some droppings around the around the cacti to fertilize and um, and then also to help the, the flower pastures. And then, you know, turn, turns into this meditation, this trance state, and starts getting this information that's coming in from Ja. And Ja is now this voice that allows this greater telepathic communication now from the whole group of jaguars. And the jaguars are, are, are kind of in this hive mind state now with each other. And, 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 and Ryad is told then in this, in this uh, trance state that... Um, the sea kings, the sea goat kings, got a got a a whole new idea about how to help everybody—north, south, east, west, 
below the earth and above the earth all in one shot is master plan master plan is getting is coming through the sea king and right right as like thank goodness about time you know this guy is supposed to be the smartest guy around have the greatest plans and everything but it takes forever and you know we're doing the same thing every every day and now we got something new so what's the deal the deal is that um lee or eel sorry the the the, the copy of of lee eel is up there and has gotten this rapid paced education from the northerners and is interested now in um bartering brokering a sort of new peace truce and integration because it turns out that the the humans uh the humans they're having a a media issue where they're getting increasingly the populace is getting increasingly aware that the gator that the gators are are smarter than they thought and that so what basically what Riot is told is that you got to go all the way you got to cross the continent you're going to have to go up and um steer clear of any scorpion action and so aim to avoid the central mercenary uh crustaceans and insectoids in in the north of the desert and so as soon as you get to don't go north of basically he's told to, or she's told don't go north of of uh main mark point so when you get up to main mark point just head east go straight east when you get to the east this way you won't have to cross the crustacean country uh where the angry these are where the angry crustaceans are remember you get the happy crabs down in the south the angry the angrier ones which are which are up there with these sort of they're these strange creatures right because there's these integrative community there's a whole community in one sort of crab person that that's got all these barnacles and things growing on them and you know shellfish and and everything there's these big it's like a coral reef that walks upon the land basically is these giant crab people and they're not they're not happy uh, and they move all sorts of stuff all over the planet in all these illegal ways um, it, it's very similar to the way that now we're, we've been revealed that the humans and the um, are trying to get the scorp are, are getting the scorpion people to run defense for them, where they do their shady operations with the snake people. That now the human populace is becoming more and more aware that these you know, reptilian snake gator people are like, you know, may have infiltrated their society and be in cahoots with their leaders. And so the sea goat is like we're gonna we're gonna blow the lid on this right the seagoat king says um we're gonna use the media now because we've got this opportunity with the humans with the people um to to really help the scorpion people get get more in alignment and um be of less of a threatening menace and less of a usury based um mentality with their secrets with their you know, basically, they're 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 guilty for a lot of sex and violence that people aren't happy about, um, of all sorts. You know, these scorpions have been accused of of holding hostage other creatures for their strange, sick things. So it's um, so the jaguar is looking. All right, this is new. This is you know a new opportunity here for the jaguars to potentially leave the planet after millennia. So. Um, Jaguar gets the good news that they're gonna just go east. Oh, and he's, and and uh, Riads is told that Ja will come up and meet you um, on the east coast with the Seagoat King, and they're gonna meet each other for this you know way to get from the east coast up to the northern country, and they're just gonna take a sea or air route to avoid the mercenaries at the border. Riad Riad comes back. Uh, the Rams are running around, Rams are running around, Rams are running around. Rams just had their big red medicine, and they're up and they're ready to go. So that's that's nice because, um, you know, Riot didn't get any sleep, and but can keep going. This is an old, old, wise, powerful cat. Um, and she's she's got her medicine situation there with the with the blue flowers underneath the underneath the cactus. So she's good, but she hasn't had the kind of rest that everyone else has. She's not prepared to carry the rams. So the rams are just running up ahead, and and so are the hawks. And the hawks are going to return again. The hawks lead the way, and they're going to come back and say what the situation is. And so then the the humans are getting the word now from what's going on with the jaguar people as as they're um, approaching. 
and then the bats come in and the bats um, uh, start telling uh, Ryed what is going on and I'm just gonna end this one here with placements, I haven't done any placements yet for this one raw here best best papers that's what I like the raw hemp papers and uh, favorite grower here wah grower both for the price and the quality of the product um, mm -hmm. this is the strawberry uh, strawberry chocolate so I hope you're enjoying the story and we'll keep going with the, the next chapter as we get up to main mark point here next